The Nigerian Air Force says it is prepared to step up the war against insurgency and other crimes with the addition of two aircraft uh, to its fleet. Chief of Air Staff Sadiq Abubakar stated this uh, during the acceptance ceremony for the aircraft at the Air Force base in Port Harcourt River State. Correspondent Uche Okoro reports. That's the EC-135 helicopter inducted into the Nigerian Air Force in 2016. And this is the MI-35P nicknamed the Game Changer by security agencies. It was inducted into the Air Force in the year 2000. After years of deployment in the never-ending battle against crime and criminality, both aircrafts were retired from active service. But in line with the Air Chief's vision to boost the operational capacity of the Nigerian Air Force, both aircrafts have successfully undergone repair and maintenance and have now been reactivated. The project was executed at the 115 Special Operations Group of the Air Force in Port Harcourt and has helped to enhance the manpower of personnel as this life extension program is the first of its kind carried out in Nigeria. With the acceptance of my 531 as it rejoins back to operational status and my 547, the Nigerian Air Force is ever ready to once more dominate the battle space in collaboration with other security agencies. The MI-35 helicopter as a gunship and flagship of the Nigerian Air Force combat helicopters has demonstrated the capacity to deliver outstanding firepower on targets of interest. As it has continuously been said, that the mere appearance of the MI helicopter overhead the enemy location sends jitters down the spines. This is owed to the massive firepower of the helicopter amongst its peers. I have no doubts in my mind that very soon some of the security challenges we are facing, especially in the north central, northeast, and the northwestern regions of the country, will be squarely addressed. By the end of this year, the Nigerian Air Force hopes to have further increased its fleet with the reactivation of four helicopters and repair of two others. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.